What's better than a double booter? A double double booter! Right, here we go. Another double booter. Completely kind of unplanned. We had planned to go to the first one um, due to being told about the massive load of Xbox 360 games that a woman was supposed to be bringing. However, we didn't find her. She, didn't, I guess, didn't turn up or whatever reason. She wasn't there. Um, but yeah, I think we did pretty well anyway. So, hope everybody is doing well. Hope you're all alright. Uh, I know this video is probably going up a bit later than I had planned. I just didn't get round to um, videoing it on the Sunday after the boot. I just too tired and stuff to do. And then just busy at work. So, yeah, just that night I had time to film a video. But here we are. We've got it out now. So, uh, the first booter, we got up nice and early. Uh, due to me being on early mornings, so I was up early anyway. And yeah, decided to go over and check it out. There was only a few stalls actually set up when we got there and they're your typical um what you call it people that are always there your, your regulars with their general tats that is always there week after week so we're having just a slow stroll round by the time we got to like the second aisle as cars were setting up and what have you and coming in i did come across one stall that looked like he had a few bits i noticed a bag of wee stuff on the floor but there was a guy kind of standing near it, so I was just looking at the table to the side, and this guy just grabs me, and I like spun round like, what the hell's going on? Only bloody tooty, yeah, Stu was there, so you've probably already seen his video, it's gone up, Stu was there at the booter as well, we had a bit of a chat and stuff, he was with Rob, who we've seen a little bit later, and had a good chat with Rob as well, nice to see them both, nice to have a chat with them both, um, so yeah, uh, you've like I say, you've probably seen Stu's video of what he got and his rundown of it. Um, but yeah, we did not not too bad ourselves. Obviously, we're both looking for different stuff, so we both managed to pick some decent bits up. Pretty much most of this is for the collection, and that's pretty much all I went for, is to find stuff cheap for the collection. It's mostly 360 and PS3 stuff, but we do have some PS2, uh, an OG title. Uh, what else have we got there? We and some PC, actually, we'll come to that. Um, so yeah, just picking them up nice and cheap while we can. Again, a lot of them, just 50p, so just grabbing games while we can at the minute. It's just a fantastic time to collect for the last gen, so your 360 and PS3. Um, yeah, a little bit later in the in the boot as well, uh, Lewis turned up, and I caught him, crouched over some games on the floor and kind of snuck up behind him and made out he had to leave because there'd been a, uh, a complaint, um, but he wasn't buying it. Uh, so again, we had a nice chat with Stu, uh, Stu with Lewis and Amanda as well, who were both there. And just, yeah, throughout the, the morning, kind of kept bumping into them, just having a bit of a chat and what have you. Uh, I think all round, everybody managed to get a few bits, so that was nice. Uh, we won't be going again for uh, probably a few weeks now due to mine and the Mrs. Shift patterns. So, all your run again now, Lewis. <laughs> Back to yours, mate. Hmm, first it. So, I suppose we'll crack on with what we got, shall we? So, not long after um, seeing Stu for the first time, I could say a few next stalls were filling up quite fast actually, and people getting out and ready. Did come across a woman with quite a lot of gaming stuff. Now, I'm guessing she was some kind of maybe like reseller or what have you. Um, a lot of it looked like they'd just come from game, so obviously, before the manuals got chucked away. Um, they all had game stickers on and whatever, so obviously they just picked them up cheap and they were flipping them on, whatever. They had them up for a deal, I think it was like four for however much, uh, four for a fiver I think it was or something. Um, but I managed to get, I'm just checking on it because I've made notes this time and we made notes of what I bought and what I bought them for. Um, I managed to get 10 360 games for a tenner. So I managed to basically get them for a quid a piece. And again, pretty much everything I've bought, um, I can trade in for sometimes just a little bit more. Um, but like I said, most of it's for the collection. So I've, everything I've bought, I managed to get well under price. And yeah, just get nice and cheap. We'll do, again, a rundown of each car boot and a grand total at the end as usual. Anyway, waffling on, I've not showed you anything yet. That's what you've come for, I guess. Uh, so, 
10 360 games off the first stall. So the first one, 10 for a tenner, pound a piece, was Diablo. Now I have the kind of, the next version of this, the, the special version which comes with DLC and stuff, but I don't have this one. Nice condition, manual and disc, and everything is there. Second one I have looked at for a few times, but just for some reason not come across it. Um, I probably paid a little bit over price on this one, just a bit, I'm not sure, uh, but I've just not seen it. And I mean, there's a, this, the case is a bit battered to be fair, just with stickers. Um, it looks like it's been to every shop around, um, looking, so I recognise quite a few of the, the old stickers. Um, but yeah, Shadowrun, anyway. So, finally got Shadow Run after not seeing it for a while. Like I say, it does have all its manuals and everything there as well. But like I say, we got it for a deal in the end, so it wasn't too bad. Um, one which is a game I do have, but is a cover, co cover variant, is what I'm trying to say. Now, I have the kind of exclusive cover, not the standard one. So, Street Fighter 4, or Super Street Fighter 4. This is the basic cover. So, I'm in two minds of either keeping it for a cover variant, but I'm not really a cover or any kind of variant collector. I do, once I've got the kind of, what I consider the better version and I'm happy with that, so either the steel bulk, slip cover, or like I say, I've got the better, or what I consider the better picture, or the ex more exclusive picture already. So I'll probably trade this in or try and sell it on instead. I don't think I need two copies of it. Um, but it's in really good condition, actually, so not too bad. Then, we have a game which I have finished uh, digitally, and uh, quite a few of these I've got digitally, um, but like I said, I just prefer the physical copy. And um, I'm thinking this one might go up in price due to the whole Telltale saga and everything that's kicking off, although I think they are kind of being bought out or coming back in some form. Uh, but it's The Walking Dead Season 2, uh, 360 physical. Got a bit of glare, wait for the sun to come around, and I've probably waited too long. Uh, but I have finished it, it's just nice to have physical I think the whole series is on this disc it doesn't say otherwise and not downloadable but like I say I've got them anyway so there's the disc for that one then I picked this one up because I thought there might be some value in it um, not nowhere near as much value as I thought I, I can make a little bit but anyway I love it for the collection it is a Naruto game and it is Naruto, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. Yeah. Don't, know, don't follow Naruto. Don't watch it. It's in great condition. Absolutely fantastic condition. So, yeah, can't leave it for that. Might give it a go. I think it is just a, uh, a fighter game. There's not much to go on on the back at all. So, we'll try it at some point. And then a game I have on the Xbox One, but not the 360 version. Really enjoyed it. So, we'll go through it again on the 360. Um, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, so the first one. I thought this was a fantastic game in a kind of Middle Earth setting. Uh, no manual on that one because I don't think it actually came with one. Same with The Walking Dead. You know, anything that has this kind of writing in the back generally doesn't. Um, but this is a two disc game, both discs are in there, great condition. Um, yeah, just really enjoyed it, so we'll uh, go through it again. Then, this is a game I do have digitally, I think it was like a Games With Gold or something. Uh, but I actually really enjoyed it for a racing game, and well worth picking up if you've not played it. Um, it's kind of arcadey, you've got like power things that you can set off that trigger events in the in the stage and the level which can demolish your, your rivals and your anyone that's in front of you and stuff. Uh, split second velocity, really enjoy playing this, uh, so I'll get back into that. Again, great condition, so not too bad on that one. Game I've never heard of, I think it's from some kind of TV series as well, which again, I've never heard of. It is Falling Skies, the game. Don't know, know nothing about it. The battle looks quite interesting, some cool screenshots. It almost looks a bit like the kind of XCOM games. I'm hoping, because I quite enjoyed them. Um, so yeah, definitely give that a go and a blast, hopefully it's all right. Engaging over 90 tactical warfare missions, so that's pretty cool. Customize your squad, and set in the world of the hit 
yeah, TNT series, which again, I've never heard of. This one, however, didn't come with a manual, and I've never seen this game before, so it might be a bit of a pain to get, but I just couldn't leave it, because it was one I've, like I said, never seen before. So I thought I'd pick it up. Then we got Sega Superstars Tennis. Yeah, it's Sega Superstars Tennis, Tennis for Sega. Superstars in it, I guess. <laughs> Quite a few characters all over the cover, and what have you, so, it does say a bundle copy, so I'm not sure what it was bundled with, if it was with a, uh, like, set with a arcade console at a time or something, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, we got that one, add that to the collection. Then the last one, and I honestly didn't realise this, um, we'll show you when I open it. But again, one I don't come across too often, look pretty cool, good condition, so I thought I'd pick it up, again for the collection. These games are supposed to be really good, I've heard quite a few people mention how good they are. But this one is Earth Defense Force 2017. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Kind of a third person shooter against massive ants and that kind of stuff. Um, I did flick it through all the discs and check them when I was there. And obviously, like I say, great condition and stuff in there. I, I don't know, I just thought this was maybe a two disc game or whatever, because there was another disc in it. However, it is just the other game. It's not a, a two disc game. And this one is Earth Defense Force insect armageddon so bonus we've got a bonus disc so i can play it and stuff obviously i'll keep an eye out for a spare box and manual for that one uh but yeah a free game who doesn't love a free game and that brings me on to something that i missed out in my last video and completely forgot about is i don't know if you can remember but i picked up two xbox one games the um oh what were they now uh, i've got one down there it was oh Far Cry Primal and um and it got on last week. What was the other one? Oh, Dying Light. And when I got them back and after the video and I was checking through them and cleaning the discs, the Dying Light one I think it was, had a, a disc as well inside and it had um Lego um lego city game in there as well for the xbox one so another free game which i completely forgot to mention or didn't find out until after um so we downloaded that and me and the missus will play that again we'll look out for a box and everything later on but anyway yeah so free game this time as well so two free games not too bad then uh i mean that bundle like i say it cost me 10 pounds for them 10 games and i mean if i was to buy them from cx it would have been 20 25 pound so yeah quite a bit of a saving there not too bad um so let's crack on with the next set we have six ps3 games as a bundle this was when i seen uh, lewis actually so he'd already had kind of first pick and picked a few bits out we're having a bit of a chat i asked him if he'd finished looking he said yeah so i was just having a browse in there see what they've got picked a few out myself like i say six um, there was one game we were both kind of umming and ahhing over, and I wasn't really too too bothered about it. But Lewis ended up getting it, and then later in the day he did come back to me and said, "Oh, actually, this game was a, um, I think it was six or seven pound trade credit." So um, yeah, did alright in the end. I probably would have left it either way because I wasn't interested in it. Um, but yeah, it was nice that he got some credit from that. Uh, but all these were, I think, a pound each. I did pick up six and offer them, offer them a fiver, which they took. Um, so for a fiver, we've got six PS3 games. And let's have a look. So yeah, for, these were a fiver. I could trade these in for £12.10 on their own. Or there would have been £27.50 to buy. So yeah, crazy bargain deal. Some of these, I think I'll, there's quite a few I'll be keeping. Some I'm unsure about, I'll probably try and sell them at an event. If they don't, then either flip them on to CX or I might put them in the collection. Undecided. First one, Lego Lord of the Rings. So not as much money in the Lego games now as they used to be. The prices are bombed on these. But all are in great condition. I did enjoy this one. I am a Lego, I am a Lord of the Rings fan, so I might keep it. I'm not sure yet. Um... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Danger of the Use. Now, it is the Nickelodeon Turtles, which I just hate. I'm a massive Turtles fan, but the Nickelodeon Turtles are just awful. I don't like the look of them, or... Yeah, so, I don't know. I might keep it. I'll play it and see what it's like. 
Um, but yeah, I might keep that for the collection. I'm not sure yet. I'll see if I can get on the 360 as well and then probably keep the 361 and flip that in. Uh, again, I'll have the first one too, but not the second one. So pick this up, Little Big Planet 2. Pretty much staple titles for the PlayStation if you've got it. This one, however, didn't have its manual, but I think that'll be pretty easy to find a manual for. Um, should be anyway. And after picking up on the 360, we found a PS3 version, The Walking Dead Season 2. So the same bloody game, but now I've got on both consoles. I haven't played it on the PlayStation, so I will definitely be playing this because I did enjoy the games, although I thought Season 1 was easily the best um, season and story um, of the Walking Dead series. I don't, I've not even seen The Walking Dead, the actual TV series, but the game I really enjoyed. Um, so we'll be going through that again, and again, I'll be keeping it because I think the price will go up on that. I'm not sure, you never know. Um, this one, I thought there would be a lot more, again, a lot more money in. Uh, there is a bit in it, but just not as much as I was thinking. It is Injustice Gods Among Us. A game I've not played, so I probably will give it a go. Um, but I would prefer it on the uh, 360, which I'll keep a, an eye out for. Obviously just a brawler with um, the DC characters and all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure if there's special characters in this as well from other um, kind of series and stuff. I know sometimes it's Nether Realm, so sometimes they cross over with like Mortal Kombat characters. Or there's a lot of um, characters in the Mortal Kombat games anyway. And the last one we got, again, another Lego game. Just, just I thought I'd pick it up for some credit or what have you. I do have it on the 360. It's Batman 2. DC uh, super villains or superheroes, sorry, this one and all there. That one I think will be traded in definitely because it's the essentials one anyway, so I'll get a little bit on that. Then, walking around a bit, I did come across this. I think they had a few games, most of them I already had, and this is one I didn't have. And it's supposed to be a good series. I think I just had the first one. I'm just checking now. Yeah, I just have the first one. So we've picked up Motorstorm Pacific Rift, which I think is the second one. I think there's three in the series. I'm not sure. Let me know. Uh, but fantastic condition on this one. So that's definitely going into the collection. That was a quid. So don't mind that. Quid for that one. Then the last um, pickups for this one. So I'm really thirsty today. So last pickups for this one. And after I've watched Stu's video, I think him and Lewis had obviously already beat me uh, to this guy. And I've already been round and took a few titles out and what have you. However, when I got there, there were still a few titles I needed. And uh, yeah, some out. So, picked up four 360 games. I got these, I think he wanted a pound each for them. Um, but I picked up the three... And offered him 250, which he took because they're not great titles by any means. So 250, and then he chucked something in, which we'll get to. So I ended up with four for two pound fifty. So the first one is another double pack game. After getting our first last week, we found another one, and it is the Viva Pinata and Forza Two um, split pack. So we've got both of them. However. Oh, is that upside? No, it's not upside. It's upside down. It only has the manual for Fever Pinata in there, uh, but it does have both discs. But picking up, like I said, the manuals are just standard manuals. So picking up a Forza 2 manual is easy. So I can get that and complete that one. Then we have a Kinect game. So what am I getting all the Kinect games actually? I don't think there's that many. And I, I do like the Kinect and playing with it and when I make some more space I can actually get back on my connect. Um, like I said, not worth anything this but got it as kind of the, the bundle and it is a body and brain exercises for the connect. Dr. Kawashima's, I don't know, is that the kind of like the DS brain training games? I guess it's a bit like that. Not too bad a condition, this case is split but I do actually have a spare purple connect case so that'll be getting swapped over then I completely made a mistake even though we were writing down what I picked up and how much I picked them before and everything picked up the same bloody game twice and it weren't even that long a distance between picking them up I don't know I just grabbed it and knew I needed it 
I forgot I picked him up in them 10 games. So we've got another bloody copy of Sega Superstars Tennis. Um, this one actually has a stick on the back, so it doesn't say about being in a bundle. So I don't know. I have made the best copy already, uh, which I'll keep. This one will be getting either sold on or traded in CX. I think I'll make just a little bit on it. Um, but yeah, I can't believe I did that. And the same booter. It wasn't even like I did it at the next booter. I did it on the same booter. Crazy. Anyway, something that Stu said he'd left behind in his video. And luckily, I managed to pick up. So it was the... Uh, as I was paying for looking for looking at them games, I noticed he had he'd got his boot up and there was a game just in his boot. And I was like, oh, is, is that one for sale as well? He's like, oh, it, it's broken. I was like, oh, right, okay. Um, and he got, got it out to pick it up. He says, well, actually, the, it's a copied disc inside. And he opened it up. I was like, oh, right. Um, I says, well, will you, will you sell the case? He's like, oh, you can have that. So, yeah, he just gave it me. And it is the case for Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. So, yeah, I heard that Stuart on his on Stu's video he'd seen it and obviously it was a problem. And, yeah, it's because there's a, a copied disc in, which isn't even in the game. It's a copy of Penguins of Madagascar. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think it's the game. I think it's the movie. I'm not sure. I'm just going to get thrown anyway. But, yeah, we've got the manual and the kind of fold-out poster thing inside as well. So, yeah, you chuck that in for nothing. So, I just need the disc for that. So, yeah, nice case and all the bits complete in that. Just got to find the case. That was the first booter. So, not too bad. Um, after the obviously the bank holiday one, which was pretty good, um, we'd finished up quite early because we got there really early, and it didn't look like it was going to fill up any more. And because we'd finished quite early, been around most of it, we hadn't planned to go to the next bit of it. Was like actually we've got quite a bit of time. We'll probably run over and see what else we can get, which we did. Obviously, double double booter. So we ran or ran. We drove back over to the other car boot which isn't like I say not too far away and yeah didn't do too bad at that one either so I've got this stack to go through this is from the second booter and that was a good time for a, a cut wasn't keeping an eye on the time so time ran out and uh, just before we move on to the second booter I'll do a quick rundown of the first booter for those interested so £17.50 spent um, there's £22.71 trading on that, which is £5.21 profit if I was trying to trade it all in. However, like I said, there's a lot I'm keeping. If I'd have bought it all from CX, £60.50 that would have cost me, which is a £43 saving. So not too bad. So we'll kick off with the second boot when we got there. Uh, we started off with a guy who got a box on the floor with a load of games in and a sign in there saying 25p a game. So I was straight in there. There was no one else around. Grabbed a load of titles, um, even though the sports titles, just a load of titles I needed, probably for the collection at some point. And yeah, one, two titles just because. So the first one, just in case there was a bit of money in it and I couldn't leave it for 25p. Does have the hologram on the front. Lord of the Rings Return of the King on the PS2. I do have the OG Xbox version of it. It is complete, great condition, all the manuals and paperwork in there. So, not sure. Like I say, I'm a Lord of the Rings fan. I might keep it. I might see if I can sell it for a bit more. Not sure yet, but for 25p, was not leaving that. Uh, next one I picked up just for a case replacement. I already have the game um, for 25p. The case is in great condition, so I thought, yeah, I love that. It's just Tiger Woods, PJ Tour 2003. Um, it has everything in there, so if anyone does want it for the collection or whatever, I'll bring it to an event. And yeah, if I can't sell it at the event, if anyone wants it, they can have that. I just wanted it for the case. Like I say, 25p. And then three 360 titles, which, yeah, the sports titles, but I don't have them in the collection. And for 25p, just picked them up for now to see if I can get some achievements or whatever on. And then I'll decide what to do with them later on. So we have NBA Live 06. Complete. Uh, 2006 FIFA World Cup. I mean, even though I say I'm playing for achievements, I probably won't even play them. And FIFA 06 Road to the World Cup. I'm not sure that one. I actually, 
I may have already have done that. That might be the really easy 1000G one. If it is, I've already done it. I've already borrowed off someone and completed it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That might hold a little bit of value. Not, nothing valuable, really. But for achievement hunters, anyway, uh, someone might want it. And then the last thing I've got, I picked up, like I say, because it was 25p, I do have the disc and all the bits for it already. Um, I think I got it from my Blockbuster today, but it didn't have the case. But now I have the case and, again, everything in it. It is a Games for Windows game. Gears of War. So you can play and get achievements on this. Uh, it has a disc in there with the product key. It does have the manual, the bit of paper, the little slip of paper with advertising certain stuff, and even a one month's Xbox Live card in there, unscratched. So hopefully that still works, and we've got a free month of Xbox Live Gold. 25p worth it all day long. Um, but yeah, I don't really have anything to play this on at the minute. I mean, my laptop can support it, but it doesn't have a disk drive, which is great. So I will probably, we're looking at getting an external disk drive, and hopefully I can play it that way maybe. And yeah, I'll go through that again. It does have um, the extra kind of um, levels on it as well, which was re-released again when it came out on the Xbox One, uh, the remastered version or the Ultimate Edition, whatever it was. Um, but yeah, if I can play it, I will go through that again and keep it just for a Gears of War kind of for this set collection, if you like. Like I said, I do have a spare copy of all that as well, so if I can find a way, I can even double box it to maybe get some of the achievements or the co-op achievements and uh, go through the campaign. So there's a thought, there's an idea. Um, pick these up randomly not long after from a stall. Uh, 50p, just some Hobbit coasters. Just thought they were quite nice. Pick them up for the <laughs> Lord of the Rings set. As a standard one, a Bilbo one, a Gandalf one and an as of one, don't know if you'll be able to see them very well. Just picked them up for my kind of Lord of the Rings collection, if you like. So many collections I have. We'll be getting around to them videos at some point as well. Anyway, so yeah, them six there. So £1.50 for the total because they were 25p. Then we have these three 60 games next. Paid, I think again she wanted a pound each, but I offered her 250, which she took. So 250 for these three Xbox 360 games. Again, just another Connect crappy title, really. Your show Shape Fitness Evolved. But again, fantastic condition. The manual's not been touched, completely flat. All the other bits of paperwork and stuff in there as well. So that'll go for that part of the collection. I'm pretty sure I don't have this. I've not really checked yet. It just rings a bell. I need to have a look. Rugby Challenge 2. And is the Lions Tour Edition. Whatever comes to that. £50 get game at one point. Bloody hell. Um, so yeah, not sure what is extra with that. Does it have a code? No, but it has a massive thick manual in there. Jeez. Yeah, disc, manual, everything. Great condition. Really nice case on that one. So yeah, got that one for the collection, and another one for the collection. Now, I know there's a few people going for full sets of Kinect games. Are you Kinect, are you um, counting them as just the purple case Kinect games, or any game that says it can use the Kinect games? So if it has this Kinect banner on, are you counting them in your collection as well? Just curious to know. Um, but yeah, we've got London 2012, that you can use the Kinect sensor with. Again, just to add into the collection, and great condition. So not too bad. I might give that a go. Let's see if there's any fun sports on there. Compete in more than 45 events. Doubt there's judo and taekwondo in there. Let's have a look. Track and field, swimming, diving, cycling, gymnastics, shooting, archery, rowing, beach volleyball. Women's beach volleyball. Canoeing and more. I don't know. We'll give it a go and see so that was that one that was like say two pound fifty for them then we picked up another three for guy which again they're a pound each um two for the collection and one to trade because i know this one holds a bit of trade value 
It's the PS3 version of Fight Night Champion. Now the other Fight Nights are worth nothing, but the Champion version, I think on both consoles, do hold a little bit of trade value. Um, I've not wrote it down, but I think... Oh, have I? I've not wrote it down, I don't think. I'm pretty sure there's a few quid in it. Why have I not wrote it down? Yeah, I can't find it. It's like three or four quid trade, so for a pound pick up, not too bad. Uh, it was more, I think it has come down a bit. But yeah, still worth picking up for a quid or less. Uh, so that will be getting traded in, and that's just pure trade fodder. Uh, a game I have on the Xbox One, but not the 360 version, is the only 360 um, Assassin's Creed game I don't have, and it's one of my favourites as well. So it's in fantastic condition, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Sailing your ship on this list, Lynn, to Shanty Songs is absolutely fantastic, it's great. Um, double disc game, does have both discs in, I think one's campaign, one's multiplayer. Um, it has... My passport in there with the codes and the manual, all in great condition. So we'll definitely be playing that at some point. Really enjoyed that one. And then this one again, I have it digitally. I think it was a Games with Gold again. Sid Meier's Civilization Revolution. Uh, yeah, didn't mind it. I have played it a bit. Again, great condition. All manual, nice and flat. Kind of, it's a strategy game. Um, you play as different. Um, oh, I can never get my bloody words out. Play as different cultures and. Uh, kind of talk and drink at the same time. Continents and what have you. I don't know, can't think at the minute. But yeah, you have a leader and your armies, and then you try and take over and do missions. It's a strategy game. Yeah, it's not too bad. I played it a little bit. It's got odd achievements in it though, which I don't like, like 2G and 1G and stupid achievements like that. Um, but yeah, we'll play it again at some point and get them all sorted out. What are we on? 10 minutes then. Where do we found this off a couple of young gals that were just selling stuff and wanted gone. Uh, they had a few Wii games, but I think we'd either had the others or just weren't interested. Pick this one up just because um, it's 50p. Mario Strikers Charge Football, which we do have, but manualless. So this does have a nice manual in there. So we'll make a nice condition and keep that for ourselves. And then trade one in or sell it on or what have you. Um, yeah, and this woman, this woman was at the back of the field and she was just selling a load of kids stuff. Obviously, the kids were either growing up or she wanted sell stuff off while it was coming up to obviously new school so she's like oh get your new school stuff blah 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 everything's 50p everything's 50p um i've noticed a couple of games this was the only one that really took my eye and i don't know i put it back down because again i sort of missed like i've got no way of playing it. i don't know what to do with it and she's like you know what i just want them gone you can have it for 20p i was like you know what for 20p i'll just take it i'll take the risk i probably should have just took it for 50p but yeah um she let me have it for 20p. It is Bulletstorm on the PC. So another games for Windows. Uh, you get your achievements and stuff on it. It does have the um, the code in there to that you obviously need on PCs to make it work and what have you. But yeah, that's all in there. Uh, again, a game I've played on 360. Really enjoyed this game. It's a fantastic game. Kill with skill is the idea of the game, so you're killing people in various different ways to get skill points, very arcadey, and there's some pretty cool and gruesome ways that you can kill people, and they're all named, funny names for whatever you, and stuff like shooting someone in the ass, you get with a grenade or whatever, you get an explosion um, bonus and that kind of stuff, but yeah, it's absolutely fantastic, um, so yeah, if I can get a uh, CD drive for my laptop I'll, uh, I'll give that a go as well and we get some achievements on that so I'm contemplating getting the games for Windows games as well as a kind of subset um, just because again I don't think there's many only the ones that you can get achievements with and stuff so like I say yeah that was 20p she let me have for that for so um, this one is a double field one so we got we do the, the second field first because that's kind of your 
your normal sellers, your people who go on the spare of the moment day. Your first field is normally your regulars, so we always go there at second because they don't really have much or like your resellers eat it up at the beginning of the, the day. And obviously we got there a little bit later when it, everything had set up. So then we went over to the second field and at the back of the second field that is when your new people kind of start to arrive. So there was a little bit there for us to pick up and there was a guy just selling games. Uh, he only had a few left on his table, but uh, there was two here that I needed for the set. One I have been after for a little while, but trying to find it at a decent price, because the price has gone up on it a little bit now. Um, I remember at Blockbuster, we, we were trying to give this game away, just nobody wanted it, and it is apparently a really good game. Um, it's kind of like a Mario Kart, but a realistic driving Mario Kart, if you like. Um, so I'm just checking what I paid for these. These were, yeah, he wanted £3 each, uh, but I did offer him a fiver for both, which he took. So I got these for a fiver, so 2 50 each. Uh, so the first one is Blur, and that's what I'm talking about. So it is a racing game with power-ups, a bit like your Mario Kart and what have you. Um, quite interesting. It's supposed to be, like I say, a really good game. So we'll give that a go. Great condition, nice flat manual. So that goes straight into the collection. And one I have played, again, I think back in my Blockbuster days and just not got in the collection. I don't think I've played it since then. So it's like proper bottom of my list. But I'll give it another go, see if I can get any more achievements on it. And a bit like what I was saying earlier, this is Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. So this is the, the crossover. So it's got all the Mortal Kombat characters and the DC characters in there as well. Um, so it could be quite fun. Some pretty cool moves on there. All complete. Not too bad a condition. Just a few little sticker marks need to get off. Um, yeah, I did enjoy it at the time. I don't know how it's aged, but we'll give that a go. I know it does hold a little bit of value as well, that game, which is why I thought I'll pick it up there. Um, in fact, it would they would have cost me, I just found it here, they would have cost me 11 quid from CX, so less than half price. Not too bad. So then, where did we get to? There was an old guy, and he had just a handful of bits left, and he was just, yeah, selling them off really cheap. Um, I think everything was like 50p. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think everything was like 50p. And just really cheekily, I picked these three up, and I offered him a quid, and he took it, because he just wanted them going. He's like, yeah, you can have them for a quid. Um, Two PS2 games just to trade in. Like I say, it, they were a quid, so 50p each, plus the extra one we got free, if you like. Um, which is something we're going to keep. Uh, but these would have cost me £10.50 to buy. Uh, what's the trade on these? Not much trade on them, but more than what we paid for. The first one, Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban. For 50p, I think I'll double or triple my money on it. I can't remember. Uh, it's complete, so that'll be getting traded in, as will The Sims 2. Thought there'd be a little bit more in this, being a Sims game, but I guess PS2 just doesn't hold it. Um, again, I can, I think it's double or triple money on that one. So just a little bit of credit there. And then to get the object that we did want, which isn't gaming, so I apologise, but it's something I absolutely love. And when I've seen the box set, the missus hasn't actually seen these yet, so uh, we'll be sitting watching all of these. Even though we went to a, a live action dinner of this show, which was absolutely fantastic. The actors were great. Um, but it's the Faulty Towers box set. So seasons one and two. I think I can trade this in for a bit. Um, but I want it. I want it myself. So yeah, I'll be keeping this. Complete um, all 12 episodes. They really didn't make that many. It's quite surprising. Um, but yeah, just the two seasons. All the discs in there. There's three discs. One of each season, one with... All the extras and then the kind of glossary which has all the characters and everything in there which is a nice little read there's some photos and stuff in there that's pretty cool if you haven't seen Forty towers go watch it fantastic british comedy john cleese an absolute genius um yeah ah gotta love you some Forty towers so i'll be watching that again in its entirety with the missus who was set like say just hasn't seen it um, so yeah, that'd be quite fun. Then, moving on, the last game, the last game in this set, um, it was obviously a reseller guy, just had a load of junk 
scared around the floor. Um, I don't think he knew what he had. He had a few games I was looking through and he says, alright, oh, there's more games over there if you're interested. The first kind of lot I was looking at, I didn't find anything. But then when I went over to the second set, I did find this one. I had no idea what it was or if it was worth any value or anything. I was expecting it not to. Uh, so I asked how much it was. It was like a quid. So I was like, obviously knew it was a reseller. And I was just going cheeky on it. It was like 50p, I'll give you 50p. He's like, oh no, um, I can't do it 50p. I was like, oh, 70p, like proper being cheeky. He's like, no, no, you tell you what, you can have it for 80p. So like, okay, I'll take it for 80p, whatever. 1945, one and two, the arcade game on the PS2. So it's a shmup. It looks all right. I don't know. It's from a, the play it's, I guess, like a budget game. Um, but for the 80p, I think it, yeah, it trades in for 90p, so I made 10p. But I'll be keeping it. It is a £2.50 game to buy. So yeah, it got a bit of a bargain. It does have this manual, which is in nice flat condition, and the disc. So yeah, we'll give that a go. It could be alright. See if we can get some screenshots there for you. So yeah, a little shim up. Kind of arcadey style. Yeah. Might be a bit of fun for ADP. And then the last item that we got, let me move them before they fall over. The last item we got is pure for trade. I've never seen the show. I'm not interested in seeing the show. It just doesn't appeal to me. I don't like the uh, the art style of it, the drawing of it. Um, I have a few friends who absolutely rave about it, but I'm just not interested. Um, we got this for, I think she wanted two or three quid, but I got it down to £1.50. So for £1.50, I mean, it trades in for four quid, so just a little bit of credit there to add up to try and find some more OG titles. Um, it's £8 to buy, but yeah, but trading this in. Oh, nearly dropped it. It's the Family Guy Complete Season 6 to 10 box set. Yeah, whatever. Credit, that's what it is to me. Couple of quid credit, so 150 is what I'm going to make, two, £2.50 extra credit, that'll get me two or three OG Xbox titles for free. That'll do me, that pays for the, the sports filler and what have you. Yeah, I've not neglected the OG Xbox, just didn't find any, or the ones that I did find, I've already got. Like I say, the collection, it's almost there, it's almost full, so finding them now in the wild, getting a bit sparse, so um, yeah. Build a little bit of cred up again and we're buying them online and that kind of stuff. Definitely need to get some more memory cards. These have had it. So uh yeah, apologies for the jumps again. Just not lasting long no recording. Completely forgot where I was at. Yeah. But anyway, that was that booter finished with. Um do a quick rundown of that one. Total spent was £16 at that one with a £22.22. Trading value or profit, uh, £5.22 profit, so not much, like I say, all for the collection, which would have cost me £58.25 to buy from CEX, which is £42.25 saving. And grand total overall, both booties together, £33.50 spent, £44.93 trading, to, which is £10.43 profit. Uh, would have cost me £118.75 to buy uh, that from CEX, which is an £85.25p saving. Not too bad. Uh, like I say, most of it's going to be going into the collection, which is a handful for trade and credit to get a few bits of what I do want, which is where I was at. I have not neglected the OG Xbox um, set that is still my main focus and, and this credit will help to get hopefully a few more bits for that collection so that's the one we're focusing on it's just at the minute the 360 and the ps3 is so so cheap it's just the best time to get on so picking up games to 25p 50p a pound just can't go wrong just grabbing them where i can as you should if that's what you want to collect as well just yeah eat them up get them up so yeah, hope you have enjoyed guys. Let me know what you thought about the pickups, any games there you've played that you recommend 
myself or others playing. Um, and yeah, thanks to everybody who's, who's watching and everybody who comments on my videos. It's always nice to have a bit of a chat in the comment section. So yeah, appreciate everybody who's watching and commenting. And we'll see you in the next one, which won't be a booting video. We'll crack on with some other stuff now. Uh, that's pretty much, I think, the boot is over for us. Probably for the year. I don't know when we'll get time again now. And the year's just flying by. So season will probably be over by the time uh, we get to go again. And the weather, again, is turning. So no doubt when we're, we're both off, it'll be bloody pissing it down again. But yeah, anyway, guys, rambling on and off. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Oh, fuck off. It's going to end bad. Jesus fucking Christ.